Tracy, how are you doing today? Well, she decided to come up and join us. I thought for sure I was going to have to bribe her, but no, I guess not. Um, I don't know where the volume is, so I'm just going to speak up and try to speak into the camera a little bit more until I get my, um, my, uh, I know, I'll turn this volume up. Hold on. There we go. Until I get my um, microphone up, so I, I'm what I'm doing is I'm tending to look away. So uh, yeah, I think my I think I zoomed in too far. Hold on, I think I'm I need to zoom out. There we go. That's a little better. Well, today, without further delay, let's go ahead and I will show you. Well, we're doing a little book sale today here at Let's Make a Mess. Um, I've been carrying around some books with me for a while. And I moved them all the way from. Southern California, and um, I've been holding on to them, and I thought, well, it's a good day to clear them out. It's a little cold outside, and I thought, you know, let me just go ahead and um, show these and put them up on my Etsy shop because they are all vintage, and um, see if you guys are interested. So let me start with the cookbooks. This cookbook is adorable. It is actually... Um, two by five by 10 by eight. So it's like a little bit smaller than the normal like cookbooks. Not a lot, but just, well, it's actually about the same, isn't it? It just looks smaller to me. Maybe because it doesn't have the rounded uh, edge. Well, it's a little smaller than the Betty Crocker cookbook, but not the Homes and Gardens, but I just love this cookbook. It's a vintage, it's 1970. And this is going on my Etsy store. Well, actually it's gonna be on my Etsy store by the time you see this. And, um, and all the shipping is going to be media mail, so uh, so it'll be not too terrible for the shipping price. But I just fell in love with this one. I know it's not a Better Homes and Gardens or a Betty Crocker. It's kind of an offbeat one. But some of you ladies might know about this one. I just thought it was super cute. So this one, again, is a 1970s, and obviously, can't you tell? So that is going to be on there. It's kind of, it's full of, um, all the tabs are there, all the, um... Getting a meatball. Noodles from scratch. You know, I was looking at this one, and I'm telling you, it's kind of hard for me to let this one go today. No, was it this one? No, it was this one. The other, the other. I was actually looking through it, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll keep this. But you know what? I'm going to let them go because I want to put as many things on my Etsy store for you as I can. Um, these are getting harder and harder to find. And when since I left California, obviously, I don't have my friends at the library there where I had a relationship with a lady. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to get these again. So again, this is going to be on my Etsy store and you can look for it there. I'm going to take some pictures and post it. And then here's the Better Homes and Gardens one. This one's a little bit older. I wanted to take that out first. Um, so, and here's the Better Homes and Garden one. It's a little bit older. Um, this one is a 1976. No, it's, it's a, actually a little bit newer than the last one, but it has a little bit more wear on it. But you know, honestly, I think we don't buy these for cooking. Well, maybe we do. I don't know. I buy them to alter. I haven't, I've altered only once so far, but now that I'm retired and have a little bit more time on my hands, maybe I will have more time to alter. So this one is going to be my Etsy store. This one is um, two by 10 by, by nine. So, yeah. So isn't that pretty? I just love these. So these are so fun to alter. I really enjoyed altering my sewing one. Uh, oh, warm all of a sudden. Let me take this off because I've got a double trouble on today, you guys. I got cold. I was sitting here and there's some thunderstorms. I'm looking at a gray, gray, uh, um, gray sky, but it's Oregon. Got to get used to it, right? Okay, so this is a Betty Crocker and this one is a 1985. This one's in really good shape. This is the one I was like, oh, I don't know if I can get rid of this one. Um... It's got meat, salads, breads, desserts, I mean, uh, appetizer, snacks, and beverages. And I was just going through it, and it was like, I mean, the, actually, the, uh, let me see if I can get to some of them. The California stir fry, the um, skillet hash, the, the, the recipes in here, were, Rubens, were very family-friendly. And I was like, it was really hard for me to want to get rid of this beef stew. Um, so I don't know, but I'm going to sweet and sour pork, um, puffy omelets. 
I liked the way it had the actual the actual images to to look at. Um, or I'd like to find a better one to, to demonstrate that. So let's see if I can find one that will demonstrate the step by step, if you will. Like right here. Here's one like how to cut up a, this tomato, I think, to make a tomato. Or here's one. Let's do that one. I don't know what this is for. This is like a molded salad. I mean, it's just a really good. See, and this one is tips for yeast bread. Isn't that wonderful? I wonder if the contrast is too high. Maybe I need to lighten this up a little bit. Maybe. No, maybe not. I don't know. So, sorry about the light there. Maybe I'll move that light. Oh, that helped a little bit, didn't it? Let's move that. There we go. That's a little better. Anyway, I'm still getting used to my camera. Okay, so then there's this one. This is going to be on there. This is the only Betty Crocker one I, I have. Um, I have got to find a new connection, you guys. I feel badly. So those are my only um, cookbooks. So I have the three uh, binder cookbooks. And then I've, been ha I've had this English-German little dictionary for quite a while. And I love it. Hold on, I'm going to get a little thing to show you. It's small, but it's so cute. And obviously it's um, sewn. And it's about... Uh, um, I'd say four and a quarter or four and a half by five and three quarters. And it's English German to, um, to, uh, English to German. It says 1949. And what I like about this one is how small the, um, someone said fill the page with it. Oh no, let me see. I'm just trying something, you guys. Sorry. That's all right. You, you kind of know what, what it's about. So, um, I just thought it was great because I like how small the print is. It's a lovely little print and the pages are well, they're, they're soft. It's a, a real, real nice texture. Oh, the cat just was playing with a, um, a door jam. That didn't sound good. I don't know if you heard it or not. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So then there'll be this little English German dictionary out there. I thought that was really cute. I've had that for a while too. And then this one's really cool. This is a little card file that I've had for a while. And what I liked about this one, I thought this would be really super fun to alter for ATCs. Okay, so if you look at this, it's got these little pieces of paper. And then each one has a, um, here we can stick this girl in there to show. Well, actually, I better find a piece of paper. Here we go. So you can stick these um, like ATCs in these plastic plastic. How do these go on the sides here? Oh, right here. So let me see. This one goes on the top, and then I don't know how you're supposed to do it. Oh, I think you're supposed to tear these out. And I don't want to do that. Hang on. Oh, you just like rip this, and then you have another place to put it. And I'm not going to do that for you. So these this would be. A, okay, they are. Not donnery, donnery, donnery. So see, so this would be a great place to put your some ATCs. Let me see if I can figure this. That makes more sense, doesn't it? There we go. Hello. So yeah, and then it has extra paper. You can either put them in there or use them to, you know, um, I would use these to alter just a mixed media on, and then put your mix your ATCs and then mixed media. This would be a fun little journal. I just love it. Um, so there's this is going to be on the um, the site as well. Um, so there's that, and I I loved it. I actually saw this one time, passed it up, and then I saw it at the same store like a month later or something. And I thought, well, nobody else is going to buy it but a mixed media artist. So I I grabbed it. So there's the card the restaurant card file, but. Do we, who, who do you know that needs a restaurant card file anymore? Okay, the next stack is I'm very excited about. I've been carrying these things around forever and ever and ever. And please bear in mind that I'm not selling these because they're in the best shape. I'm selling them because of the content. Some of these have like torn, um, what do you call it, binders. But you know what, that's okay. That's not what these are about. You're going to look, this is a lifetime supply of music sheets and let me take out my little tab here and show you these beauties. I have three like this. 
So it's like a volume, but I'm selling them separately, obviously. Okay, so I love music sheets. And I know some people out there say, I can't find music sheets. Well, if you buy this book, you'll never have to look for music sheets again. It's everything you could ever want in a music sheet. This was done in, this is this was copyright 1913. There's some scribbling on some of the pages. Most of the pages are, I mean, 99% of the pages, as you can see, are intact with no scribbling and no, no writing. You'll find, like this one right here has an itty bit of somebody's little artwork right here. I think you could take an eraser to that and an eraser, this looks like pencil. But I'm just saying that, again, I'm not selling these for music books. I'm selling these for um, fodder. So, you know, don't use this side, then use this side. But again, you could, um, or use it. It just adds to the texture, right, guys? So uh, there's this one. I have three of these. So there's this one. This is the um, piano and vocal sacred music. This is volume, is that seven? And then I have volume um, three, which is in a little bit rougher shape, but I don't even care. Um, this is, see, so this one's got some crayon in it. Um, but again, all of the pages are here and most of the pages, 99.9% .9 of the pages are in perfect, uh, mixed media condition. I mean, these books are, if you buy this book, you'll never need to look for mixed media music sheets again, like ever. So that's basically what I'm selling this for. I'm even leaving in the torn pages because I really don't care. So that's the second one of this, this type that I'm selling. And the third one is volume, is that five or 10? V, I don't know, I don't know. We'll go with five. But I think 10 is X. Yeah, that's volume five, piano selections from the opera. And again, it's kind of in, so this was, Inez is books. And uh, these are 1913, you guys, these are, hundred years old these are over a hundred years old the paper is nice and thick it's beautiful it's colorful it's just these are um you'll never have to, again you'll never have to look for look at the coloring on these you'll never have to look for um uh, music sheets again and i love the size they're big you take one of these out you fold it in half and there's your signature page so that's the third one, you guys. Let me pick up my note that fell on the floor. Okay. And then, so again, there's three of those. And the last three I have, again, are still um, music books. I have two of these. And I have to, um, I just want to uh, share because I have a lot of music. And um, I've been saving these. These were packed away in my, cur in my, uh, my garage in my condo. Then packed away in my my boxes it um at the apartment and now i pulled them out and i'm at time to share oh okay so i'm really happy about that these are lovely okay so these books they're these are the gilbert and sullivan um books right these are just great books in anyway, here i just love these covers okay so these were 1941 um, and what I like about these specific books, again, it's the size, and they're so big. These ones have really good images, right? And these are all Gilbert and all Sullivan. And then, I mean, really, you guys, like, look. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. The Mikado. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just noticed that. Okay, I don't want to sell this one. No, I'm kidding. I do. I do. I've got a lot of music books, and I want to share... And, um, and by selling these books, it helps support my channel. And, um, yeah, so, and again, if you guys buy these, you, oh my word, these are so pretty. I had no idea these were in color. These are gorgeous for 1941, right? So there's not a lot of those colored ones, but there's quite a few. Aren't these beautiful, you guys? So again, I have two of these. Hold on, there's another piece I want to look at it. I can at least look at it before I get rid of it. The Sorcerer. Ooh. These are really pretty. So this is going to be my big book sale today. I'm having a big book sale today. So there's one. And then I have another one. 
And I think it's, I'm not sure if this is exactly the same or not. Again, it's a 1941. Um, the Treasury of Gilbert Old Sullivan. I'll have to figure out what the differences are. Oh, these are, this is so thick. These are lovely. I think it's the same. Let's see if that, that, yeah, these are the exact same. Okay, good. So these are the exact same. That's lovely. You know, how can you not just, isn't that beautiful? These are so pretty. Pirates of Penzance. And then I think we had the sorcerer, right? With the fucking flame somewhere. Or did we already see that? Very good. Who was that? Trial by jury. Oh, how cute. Oh, look at the little bustles. This is adorable. All right, so this, that's the last one of those that I have. And, boy, I have quite a lot of vintage books today. All right, this last one's in rough shape. I love this, though. This is, I have one of these that I'm going to keep because this, I love this. I always, I always use this book or the other one I have. I'll show you. Mine's right here. See, I have another one just like it. But this is what I use. This is mine. I'm not letting that go. Um, and you might find a couple other ones that I throw up there because I'm looking over there and I do see a couple of more. Um, I'm going to look at that really quick. So this one's in pretty rough shape, guys. I mean, but again, I'm not selling these to be perfect books for reading or anything. I'm selling these for fodder for your, um, your, um, mixed media. And I just think this, this is, has always been probably my favorite, a resource for words, jelly plate. I jelly plate on these ones right here. I jelly plate on the words one, or I, I just add them to, um, to, um, my, uh, my books. So my journals. So I hope you like these as much as I do. These are available on my Etsy site. Again, this is pretty, pretty banged up. You can, this doesn't make any sense to me. It should go in here like that, but it's going left, left. So I'm going to put it like so. So when you get it, I'll just say, I don't know. You're just going to have to open it and figure out that, hey, she put that in there weird. But <laughs> all right. So I hope you enjoyed these books. I hope you find something that you enjoy because it does support me and my channel. And um, I will, uh, if I find another, something else to sell, I'll just put it up on my channel. Um, or I'll do another video. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys can hear me. I hope everything is okay with everybody. And I will talk to you guys soon. Enjoy you guys. See you soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.